So I'll go to mappings, create, remove duplicates. Okay. I'll go to the sources here. I'll take the employees table, which is obviously relational, right? Now I can do the source qualifier example. I can use the source qualifier to remove the duplicates using the select distinct or the query itself, as I've mentioned earlier. Let's assume in this case, you have to do some validations and you have an expression transformation here. Assume we do certain validations here. Right now we are not doing it, but assume we have done it. So for the example, which I'm going to show you on how to use expression transformation to remove duplicates, we need to have the data sorted. Now that sorting of data can be done here using the override query, select all, order by descending or ascending, whatever is your requirement. Let's also put the column name here, which is one, which is nothing but the employee ID. That is a possibility. So you can do it here, which is obviously faster, but for the sake of our example, let's use the sorter so that you can see how that example works. You go to transformations, create sorter. All right, let's call it as a SRT underscore order, create, done. Okay, I get all the attributes. Remember we had certain validations here. Go to sorter, properties, ports, select the key, and you can either use it as ascending or descending. Now notice you also have a distinct option here, but like I mentioned, we are not doing a distinct on the whole record, whichever is coming from the source, but we are doing it based on certain validations. So we are not using that option here. Right after this, I get the expression transformation. I pull everything from sorter transformation to expression here. So in the expression transformation here, we'll use variable port, which we'll create now to identify the duplicate records based on employee ID. So let me call this as V underscore identify dupes. Use that as an integer because I want to use it with a flag. Obviously I'll select the variable here. We'll come back to it in a minute. So let's create another variable here, which is called V underscore previous record check. Okay, integer variable. And now I'll go back to the previous one, which is V identify dupes, open it. Go to ports, right? Now let's use an if condition here. If previous record check is equal to employee ID, then give me one else zero. What did we do here? I'll explain that to you in a minute. Let's just say okay to this. And in the previous record check here, let's assign this the employee ID value. Validate, okay. Now we need to create an output port here Let's call that as dupe flag, obviously an integer, and that'll be my output. And the input for this will be whatever we have identified from the duplicate flag, right? Validate, okay, apply. Now, previous record, now I'm sure you are aware of the order. So whatever is the order which you've mentioned, integration service will execute the variables in that order. So what happens here for the first record, when the V identified dupes uh, gets executed, it'll first check what is the V previous record. Now in the V previous record, which is defined below the V identified dupes, it'll be null, right? So for the first time, it will always be null, which means the first record is already considered as unique. From the second record onwards, where we have the V previous record check as employee ID, that will be verified against the employee ID in the first variable. And it will define if it is equal, which means if it is a duplicate, it will return one, else it will return zero. Hope that is clear. Now, we've got the flag to see if that particular record is a duplicate or not. Now, we use filter transformation to filter those records. Right, you can use either a filter or a router based on your requirement. But in this case, as we need to filter the duplicate records, but not report them to any other error table or any other reconciliation purposes, we're using a filter, right? Let me get the target here. We'll just take target employees, connect as many as possible, and then we'll come back to the filter transformation and uh, give the filter name, okay? Till department, okay? There is something missing here. All 
auto link from filter to target based on name apply now okay let's assume that's that's what we need all right now in the filter transformation go to the properties and in the filter condition here we'll filter the records whichever are with dupe flag with zero because if the dupe flag is one which means that's a duplicate we don't need duplicates right we need only the unique values we just take only the ones with zero and that will go as a duplicate value right so see this it's kind of a pretty long flow for you to determine or identify if it's a duplicate or not and there are multiple other situations where you might have to use different transformations to identify that but again like i mentioned try and identify the duplicates as close as possible to your sources or the source qualifier worst case based on your source not only relational or flat file even if you're getting any data from hadoop or any of these new connections whichever are available try to do that as close as possible to your source that will not only remove and serve your purpose of identifying the duplicate records and removing them but also helps in your performance gains so those are the possibilities again like i said it's not limited to only these there are multiple other possibilities and it depends on the situation and the requirement